So you've obviously had the chance to start several companies. Mm -hmm. um, tell about you know the the cliff notes of uh, each of your. Uh, companies. Okay, East Smith Legacy is a full service real estate development company and we truly focus on on uh, retail, multifamily and hospitality. Uh, we, we go find a location in let's just say a trade area that we're willing to work in and that may have some services there but may need some additional services. We occupy some land then we'll come in and get it obviously entitled uh, we we'll take it through this entire process and then we we'll start the development once we have tenants lined up for the property. That's the development business. And we'll, we'll, we'll collect a fee, then we'll collect a promote on the backside uh, with other people money. Other people money, OPA, <laughs> <laughs> OPM. Um, Oh, or what they say, are oh, you down with OPP? This is OPM, other people <laughs> money. And so that's the development business. Then um, I have East Smith Realty Partners, which is a servicing business. It's very similar to the Starback Company. We represent tenants across the country. And then there's EJ Smith Construction. We are general contractors in the sense of a word. We focus on uh, concrete placement, place and finish work. Uh, we, we're in a space of uh, commercial construction as well as uh, civil construction. And then I have Prova. I want to change the world of authentication. Uh, I honestly believe that there are folks out there that are spending significant capital on th what they perceive to be real sports memorabilia merchandise. And the tools that they currently have right now, to me, are way outdated. I think technology has caught up to the point where we're able to put smart tags on items and add statistical data, add, add uh, video data, including the point of when the item itself was authenticated and, matter of fact, autographed, if you will. Wow. And so you And, and you have firsthand experience yes, with that, understanding yes, the importance of actually, yeah. you know, having the autographs oh, without be real a doubt. and not having... Without, without a doubt. And someone's going to go exactly. mm -hmm. go out and pay... pay um, matter of fact, <laughs> I saw something on Facebook and they were talking about my autograph and it was on a helmet and I looked at the autograph and it's like, my son drew it. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I was like, this is not my signature. Right. And, and so I had to reply back to it like, this is not my signature, please don't buy it. But how much of a challenge is access to capital? You know, when you don't have a true track record, access to capital is extremely uh, tough because you haven't proven yourself, if you will, in the, in the marketplace. Um, and, and even the wealthy man like yourself, when you get into tens of millions of dollars, like money can only go so far and you want to, as you said, OPM, right? Other people's OPM. money. Is what That's one want. thing I've learned over the right. over the last 23 years, right. 24 years, if you will. OPM. Right. People use OPM money. Right. And at the end of the day, whether it's a real estate transaction or you go talk to a venture capitalist that believes in the Prova platform and what it's all about and the opportunity that lies there, if the space is big enough for them and they trust who you are and the team that you actually have. Uh, that's working, that can execute against that space, then people invest in you. Uh, but it's always a challenge. Uh, sometimes you go to, and what I found is you go to people, they say, well, um, you're thinking too small. Then you go to others, they say, you're thinking too big. Yeah. So you, you gotta find the right one that understands that, that you know your space very well. You're focused, you're committed, and you can execute against your game plan and, and bring this opportunity to the market whether it's in real estate or whether it's in technology. Either way it goes, it's the same philosophy. What do you think you personally have the most room for growth in when it comes to your own just professional development business-wise? Oh, I have so much room for growth, uh, whether it's in the areas of truly understanding every aspect of my business. That's always been a goal. Uh, just like I did in football, understanding when our quarterback should be checking out of a run play and going to a pass play, and perhaps what pass play he should be going to. And understanding when we should be checking out of a pass play and running the ball, and what run play we should be running. So reading those kind of things and understanding our offenses, to me, is like understanding business from business one-on-one to, to the highest level of business. And, and then it becomes how you interact with people. How you make people feel when you're trying to work with them, and not only that, but when you're, 
when you have a, a directive and you have to execute against uh, that directive and how well you execute against it. It becomes performance then.